Hello and welcome back to Adventure All The Way. My name's Emma and I'm a home educating mum of three from the UK. And today is our final video in our Learning To Read series. Um, I just wanted to talk about something that I've struggled with with my children and I've had a few messages um, about it as well, about things that you're struggling with and that is reading and writing refusal. Um, it's something that I've dealt with with both of my older children, um, kind of um, coming out of the end of it with both of them now in different ways um, for a very long time, up until he was about six. My eldest son Charles, who's almost nine, um, refused to do anything other than basic ABCs. Um, he just did not like it. Uh, it stressed him out. Anything that was to do with writing, he would say, oh my hand really hurts. Um, you know, oh, I'm really tired, it makes me really tired, and reading would do the same, like anything to do with literacy would just made him really tired or stressed out, um, or he complained of having a tummy ache or a headache, or oh, now I'm thirsty, or now I'm hungry, or oh, now I need the toilet, and, and it was always something um, that he didn't, you know, so he couldn't do it. And, um, and then, you know, I just decided very early on, you know what, I'm not gonna push this, I know that children who are at school learning to read at four and a half, five, but he doesn't need to learn to read right now. I'm quite happy to read for him and to him. He does not need to read. Obviously in a school situation, um, teachers need to get them reading as quickly as possible so they can start giving them independent work. And that's not something that we needed to do. So I just waited. Um, and when he was coming up to seven, we decided that we would start sitting down and doing formal work with him. Now I sat down with him and I explained what was gonna happen, that now he was coming up to seven, that it was time for him to start doing formal, formal home education at home, which meant that he would be doing workbooks and that he would be um, given incentives to do those things. And it wasn't things like, you'll get a chocolate bar, occasionally it was, um, but it was things like he could have extra screen time or I would give him extra one-to-one -one time where I would sit with him when his, he was allowed to stay up a bit later if he got all his schoolwork done um, during the week, school work done during the week. And then he could have like a movie night with me on a Friday or with his, or some, you know, computer game time with his dad. And that really worked for him, it kind of, and now we don't need to do that because he's kind of just got it in his head, he's got a much better work ethic. Um, we didn't need to kind of, I hate to use the word bribe, but we didn't need to bribe him. Um, so with him, when I was like, well, I want to do educational things with you because, you know, if I did have to report to the local authority, I wanted to be able to say, well, I am doing things with him. So we just encouraged autonomous learning with him we played lots of orchard games, um, things like, uh, I've got the list here, things like Match and Spell or mm -hmm. Alphabet Lotto. Um, we used flashcards and made games out of them, like I made flashcard snap, things like that for sight words and for letters. Um, and those kind of things, we just, um, and I gave him a colouring book and a sticker book that was all about letters and I just kept it very low key. Um, I didn't ask him to read any words. Occasionally um, I would be like, oh, I'm a bit stuck, what does mine say? And he might help me out. And um, and then, and that seemed to work with him. He's the kind of person that really wants to do things for you, um, really likes helping you and doing a favour. So I'd be like, oh, I'm stumbling on this word. Kuh, kuh, oh, what's the next one? And he'd go, mama, it's ah. And I'd be like, oh yes, ah. Um, and puh, and he'd go, no, 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 it's tuh, k-a-tuh, k-a-tuh, cat. And I'd be like, oh, duh, silly me. And he knew I was faking it, but it made him feel good because he was doing things for me. It's one of his love languages. He likes acts, he's one of his love languages, acts of service. So it made him feel happy that he was doing something for me um, and helping me out, which was really cute. Um, and yeah, so eventually, the other thing we did with him as well, sorry, was read to him all the time. I read to him three or four times a day. I would read as many books as he wanted. Um, instead of kind of playing with him in any other way, um, I just read to him. Also, by the time he was this age, he had two siblings. So I was like, well, hey, I just read to everybody. <laughs> um, and it meant there was some quiet time during the day, several times a day, which in our house does not happen very often. Um, everyone's very energetic. <laughs> and enthusiastic about life. <laughs> so um, it was an excuse to kind of sit down with everyone, especially when his younger brother was napping. Um, I would be like, quick, he's napping, quick, everybody, go, 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 quick, get the books. And we would sit and read together. 
and this progressed onto using Biff Chip and Kipper books or Biff and Chipper as he calls them because or Biff Biff Chip and Kipper is what he calls them because he can't um Biff Chip and Kipper rather than Biff anyway um it's funny <laughs> so um yeah we then went on to that and I would again I did the whole oh what does I read them to him and then was like oh what does that word say oh I'm a bit confused and he would go oh, mommy that says the and I'm like oh yeah thanks you're so you're so helpful thank you so much you're so clever um and sometimes I would just pretend that I didn't I couldn't read or that I couldn't do it and he would be like I'll help you and I was like ah win um he knew <laughs> he was he's not stupid he knew but he played along with the game um and that's one of the reasons why he's now reading at the level he is because after we progressed to him helping me with the end of the sentence or the middle of the sentence he I was then like okay you read a line and I'll read a line or you read one line I'll read it all and you read this one line or and then it moved on to I'll read this page you read that page and then soon he was reading the whole book to me um and yeah he was just like mommy I read a book and I was like ah, I read a book and I was like well now you've done one you could read another one and then within a week he was wanting to read every single book of that level within six weeks he'd gone up three book levels and that was 18 months ago that we did that um and that we started doing that and we did we did reading every single day I said to him you have to read half a book a day because at first he could not manage a whole book in one go because he just got tired then he was reading excuse me <sighs> he wanted to read two books a day and then three books a day and then four books a day and soon he was bounding up through and then um a few months ago i did a, a reading test with him online and his reading age showed it was it's a very rough estimate but his reading age showed that he could read words that um at a standard of an 11 year old and he's almost nine so in 18 months he'd gone from a reading age of a four year old to a reading age of an 11 year old and I was like whoa that shows the benefits of waiting in him because he wouldn't have he might not have been at that stage if we'd have started earlier and I'd forced him um but then we had the problem of his writing was not at the same level as his reading so I was like oh eek okay um and his and he, and then for all of that time that he was doing this reading he would refuse to write and i'd be like oh can you and he would write his name and occasionally he would write my name or like he could write mama or write dada or his siblings names but he didn't want to write anything else um and slowly he's wanted to write more and more and i've just taken him right back to um to the beginnings of writing with him could you pass his um books that i made please Di? So I've taken him right back to the beginning and essentially put him on um, reception level writing stuff. Um, just like practicing his letter formation. We did lots of fine motor skill stuff when he was refusing, um, just to not make it a big deal. And just to kind of build his strength up so we couldn't go, oh, my hand's tired. Be like, no, it's not. <laughs> um, and slowly he's kind of, I think as his hands have gained strength, um, because he did have the slight fine motor skill delay. Um, he He's then become more interested in writing. And I have devised a curriculum, which I've given these very fancy uh, covers to, as I made on Canva. Um, I've devised a curriculum that will catch him up um, to a, the reading level that he's at by um, this time next year. So... Um, he has a comprehension book that will boost him straight up quite quickly. He has a he has um, spellings. We're starting with high frequency words, um, and then we're moving on to um, typical year one, year two kind of spellings, um, and then we're going to be going up like quite quickly um, through them all. Um, a different list each week to get him up to his reading age you know his reading age is of year five he would be in year four now if he was at school so I'm kind of boosting him up to where I believe he can be like I'm not trying to get him up to the level that he would be if he was at school because I don't believe he would be doing a year four level work if he was at school um even though he would be in year four I just don't think he would manage the work and this, all of the interaction and the kind of uncertainty um I don't think he'd be performing as well as he does so um i his biggest one second i'm running out of space 
So I have um, devised these, which are punctuation, grammar, and writing, as you can see, and they're divided into three books. And this pretty much covers all of his gaps um, in writing from like year one and year two level work um, here in the UK. So it's starting with, all, all of this stuff has come from Twinkle. So if you are a <clears throat> Twinkle fan, this is for you. And you know that I love Twinkle. I've partnered with them a couple of times and yeah, you know I love Twinkle. So we're starting with making a sentence. Um, and we're learning about simple sentences and we've got some picture writing prompts. Um, I will add at some point the links in the description, but there are a lot. Um, so then we've got these pictures to start writing um, simple stories. So you can kind of choose a character and then some items and then a setting and so he can make up his own stories and then write them down. I've also included these lovely like um, lined, half lined, seasonal, um, lined, half lined pages so he can write things on there and then he's got like a harder sheet making a sentence and these he has to write a sentence using those words about the picture and um, so that's mainly simple sentences then we start talking about um, conjunctions so using joining words like and um, and so on so as you can see it's quite comprehensive um, at some point in one of these books he will do his first assignment which um, is interviewing somebody he knows and then writing a newspaper article about them um, it's not something he's ex super excited about because he's not he doesn't feel like so well I can't do that yeah I can't do it I can't do it so but I feel like once he gets up once he gets up moves up through the books and does all of this writing practice he will be more excited about it um, so he will worry less. <laughs> um, so I've devised those for him and, um, and, and now he's excited about writing and he wants to be able to write. He wants to, he's been talking about, um, he, he's been talking about, I want to write a comic, I want, because he's really, really into art and uh, really into drawing and actually his, his art ability um, is amazing. Just copying, he's, at the moment he's really into watching art tutorials on YouTube and some of the stuff that he's drawn is like, Phil, could you pass me one of the things? I have got permission for him to show them. Is that this? So this is, so this is one that he did from a tutorial and uh, he really, really likes it. It's really funny. So as you can see, it's a lovely picture of Santa or Father Christmas. And then you unfold it and he's, Either I, I, um, Phil said it looked like he was screaming, but I think apparently he's supposed to be eating cookies. Hello! <laughs> um, and he's also drawn Starfire from Teen Titans Go, if that's something you're, you or your children are interested in. Um, so as you can see, like, for a boy who's nine, like, his, his artistic ability is, like, really cool. Um, and I'm really, really impressed because I can not draw like that at all, even from a tutorial. Um, so, and I'm not sure my husband could either. Could you draw like that from a tutorial, do you think? Do you reckon, maybe? Not as good. Not as good, no. <laughs> so, um, you know, obviously his fine motor skills are not the problem here. Um, so I think he's ready to kind of bump up. Um, but obviously we've done a lot. We've, had, we've dealt with the reading and writing refusal from him. And now we're dealing with reading and writing refusal from our daughter who's almost seven um and i'm going right back to basics with her we're going right back to phonics learning and sight words and we're going right right back um to the beginning like she was starting reception level work again but i'm doing a different um approach so using twinkle again i'm using their specific phonics program and um, you can just type in um phonics level two and they'll start bringing you up all the stuff and lovely phil who's predicted that i would ask for him to pass it to me um i have printed off lots of books uh we actually i racked up a very large <coughs> hp instant ink bill um mm. embarrassingly large <laughs> um yeah 600 pages over my page limit <laughs> It's not cool. Um, so that's gonna be a bill. Um, so we are, I've made these lovely binders for her as well and it has five lessons per week and I've added a few bits in. But each thing has an activity. 
So these are painting the snakes. Then you have, uh, it says cut an apple in half, use it as a stamp to make the A on the A sound. Um, T is you get this lovely tablecloth and then you have to cut out and stick on any food items that begin with tea that is right up her street she is much more um she's a very visual learner but she also likes to i always pronounce it wrong kinesthetic the type of learning where you have to move your body um she's that kind of learner so really kind of getting stuck in with her hands and and moving her and having a good having a good feel of stuff being more tactile um, is is definitely her, her up her street, and I think that this is going to really push her. And each um, each letter has its word list, and she can already read a lot of these words. So um, I think it's just going to encourage her to go. And there are some things where it, like I've changed them, changed the activities to make it less work for me, but to still get what it needs to be done. So like for example, one of them is. Um, read the word and then try and knock over, put these words on skittles and then try and knock over that skittle with a ball. Well, I don't want to have to go out and buy skittles. And they mean like skittles you knock over with a ball, not skittles the sweet. Um, I don't want to have to go out and buy skittles because we don't have any. So I'm going to put a chocolate button on each word and if she reads the word, she gets a chocolate button. It's genius, I think. Bribery. It's bribery again. I know, I'm really, I'm a, I'm a horrible parent. Or am I? Um, <laughs> I mean, I'd do anything for some dairy-free chocolate buttons right now. Maybe. Don't test that. And he better not test that either. <laughs> um, so, we're going right back to basics with her and I'm hoping that doing the reading and the writing at the same time will stop that big gap happening with Bessie. And I hope that in a few, maybe after Christmas, um, after in the new year, I'll be able to say to you, look, Bessie's reading. Um, so that's like my goal for her is that, um, Kind of by the spring that she will be at least reading simple level one um books or level two books kind of the simpler books of like the biff chip and kipper um did i say his name wrong you know he's a chipper doesn't he biff chip and chip biff kip and chipper that, oh my god that's what he says charles says biff kip and chipper that's the one. biff kip and chipper uh, not biff chipper. chip and kipper biff kip and chipper <laughs> sorry um yeah so i'm hoping that i'll be able to say to you it when i do their spring review yay everyone's reading and writing and it's all fabulous um but we will see we will see um albert is already showing signs that he wants to do preschooly kind the kind of stuff um he wants to do more he wants to, he loves apps he's really into screens in general but mainly i mean he's not like one on one wanting to watch youtube all the time or watching shows he just wants to play games and some of them are really i'm sorry i'm looking at phil like i'm in, i'm bringing him into the conversation and you just can't see him no don't do that he is there let me just see him. there he is say hi to our friends hi friends um yeah so sorry i keep looking at him he's so handsome i can't stop myself um <laughs> So yeah, I'm just gonna start, I'm looking at something called Starfall for him. I think it's quite popular in the US, but it's all like, you know, hey, it's for Apple. Um, that was a really bad American accent. I'm really sorry to my American viewers. I was not mocking you. I was mocking Starfall a little bit. Um, and I don't want him saying them in an American accent. There needs to be a British version where they go, hey, it was for Apple. Um, children, um, and, you know, like, Queen's English, I, but there isn't, which is really annoying. But he does teach a monster to read, right? And this is the thing, he likes to teach a monster to read and some of his scores, probably about 50% of his scores are the same as Bessie's. Mm -hmm. He is not even four yet. So here's my dilemma. I believe that, you know, th that they shouldn't have any formal schooling until they're seven like at the latest that should be like child dependent right but he is three almost four and he's showing signs of early readiness and that, that he really wants to now charles did this as well and then he backtracked was like whoa no 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 i do not want to learn to read stuff that so i'm like do i go for it do i go for it gently and be like oh look this is the letter a it says ah oh my gosh space again or do I just do nothing? 
hardcore and just do like preschool activities with him. Teach him, make sure he knows all his colours and make sure he recognises all his numbers and make sure he recognises the letters of the alphabet and shapes and perfect those fine motor skills by making him put pine 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 needles that's not what i was gonna say pipe cleaners inside a colander and then put cheerios on them like and gross motor skills make sure he can throw a ball and teach him to ride a bike do i do all of those things or do i go you want to learn to read let's go for it that's my dilemma i'm thinking excuse me i'm thinking that i should just do more reading readiness and more writing readiness with him and then just let it happen a bit more organically and then nudge it a bit more when he's like six that's kind of my gut because I don't want to compromise on my beliefs but also want to adapt be able to adapt that for the individual child so if any of you more experienced home educators have any tips for me on that I would be grateful and those of you who aren't experienced edu home educators I would still love to hear your opinion as well what do you think I should do with Albert if he if, if was your child with the brief kind of stuff I've shown you and told you uh what would you do would you concentrate on reading and try and get him learning his sounds and getting him to read or would you focus on all of the other preschooly type stuff and just focus on reading and writing readiness what would you do leave me a comment let me know and uh, i'll let you know my decision in a later video have a great week guys i'm sorry this is super super late youtube was down today and i just did i just kind of just flew out of my mind um <laughs> I will see you on Thursday. I think it's probably going to be a Christmas themed video. It might even be in the supermarket trying to get Christmas shop Christmas food. Mm. Um, and making mince pies. I think that might be the thing. Making mince pies. Making mince pies. That would be really cool. <laughs> I will see you on Thursday. Bye.